I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, right. Breathe, bitch. Breathe. What's up, ghouls? It's Blaze, and welcome back to my channel. This is crazy. I'm back. Bitch is back. So, it's been a hot fucking minute. I just checked my YouTube. It's been six months since I uploaded. Sorry about it. Um, yeah, so I suppose it's time for a little catch up. I've just waltzed on in here, ready to record again. So I feel like I need to explain myself. Let's grab a drink. Yeah, this could be a long video. Definitely grab a drink, grab a snack. I've got a little cookie here. Oh, I spilled some. It is a pumpkin oatmeal cookie. I'm so fucking happy. I made it for Beltane and it's delish. This probably wasn't a good idea. I can't really talk while I'm eating. It's kind of gross. Hashtag mukbang. I'm so annoying. Sorry. I wanted to make this video to talk about where I've been, what's gone on, why I've not been uploading and to let you know what kind of things are going to be coming because I am back fingers crossed I'm back so I filmed one of these in January it never got uploaded I've since deleted it because it's so outdated because that's like a good four months ago um it's May 2nd of May um and I am back <laughs> so like where do I even begin I'm so out of sync with filming and recording and editing and whatever I think the biggest thing is that I find time every now and again to film a little bit it's finding the time to edit it and upload it and stuff like that editing is definitely the thing that takes the longest um I'm gonna start from when I last uploaded which was September so my last upload was the 22nd of October 2018, like I said, a good six, seven months ago. Six and a half, I think, I don't know, no one really cares. Um, yeah, so I found out in October that my landlord was selling the flat that I was living in. Um, it's the first place that my boyfriend and I had moved into just us. Before that we'd been in like house shares and stuff. So it was our first like home together. And I loved it. I loved that flat. The location was perfect. The flat was perfect. It was old and creepy. It looked like an asylum. I loved that flat. There was definitely some weird activity going on. It was sick. Um, yeah, so my landlord decided to inform us that he was selling the flat. He told us that he had to go through different processes and it would... It would take a while and it probably wouldn't go through until January, but that's bullshit. <laughs> so he'd already had, like, we'd had viewings and stuff, which was a pain in the ass. We had to constantly make sure the house was in, like, really good condition. He'd asked us to take down, like, the Ouija board that was on the wall, to hide the taxidermy, take the crucifixes down. Like, anything that was, like, even slightly a little bit out of the norm, he wanted it, like, off the walls and stuff because he wanted to sell the flat, which annoyed me. I think, like, I'm paying rent to live in this house. I'll do what I damn like. Um, so that annoyed me, but whatever. Um, there are more pressing issues in life. Um, but yeah, so he'd already found a buyer, and then he said that the uh, when you buy a home or a flat or whatever, you have to have it surveyed. And he was like, oh, it's going to take at least two months for a survey. And it's like, yeah, it's probably not. Um, like I know every experience of buying a home is different but my older sister managed to move in within like the space of a month or two she managed to move in before Christmas and that's what I would imagine the person buying that flat would want to do um so Jake and I were like we don't want to have this hanging over our heads especially around like the holiday season um because Jake tends to go home back to Wigan for Christmas um, and you know, you don't want to be worrying about that when you're at home with your family and spending quality time with them. So we were like, let's just get this sorted. So we started looking, we found somewhere new. Turns out it's on the same street as where we used to be. Um, so we very quickly moved into a new place, which was stressful as fuck. Within the space of like a couple of weeks, we moved out. 
um, and we, we own a lot of things so it was very rushed, packing everything, cleaning everything, um, yeah it was crazy. I Part of me wanted to be really spiteful and just leave the flat like in a really shit state because the landlord annoyed me but whatever. That's petty and I wanted my deposit back so we, um, like my mum came over and she helped me clean the house and so we got the full deposit back, everything was good. Um, Yes, yeah, so we're now in a new place. It's so much bigger, it's huge. It's two bed rather than one bed. Um, like every room is double the size of what it was in the last place and the rent's the same, so that's pretty good. And it means that I can have my own room. This room that I'm filming in now is mine. I've got like my witch stuff, my altar over there. I've got all my makeup over there, clothes, filming setup. So this is definitely gonna help in terms of uh, being able to film more because I have my own separate space and come in, shut the door, all is good, I can film very easily. Um, around the time that we moved I was working at a fancy dress shop which I think I've worked at for the entirety of my, um, the time I've been YouTubing like properly so uh, it's, it's strange, I worked there for a long time, about two and a half years and I started working there while I was at university, it was like a part-time job to earn an income and the people I worked with, I love them, like I wanted to take them all with me, like oh, they're my favourite people, they're so nice. Um, the actual job wasn't something I would want to do forever, it was fun part-time but I couldn't do it day in day out and the money wasn't enough. Um, and like I have a degree now so I feel like I should be putting my my skills to better use. Um, so I handed in my notice, I did my, I think I did like four weeks notice even though it's only supposed to be two but I just didn't want to leave, I missed them. Um, yeah so I got a new job, I ended up my last day there was the 2nd of November and I began my new job on the 5th of November um, and while I was in the process of leaving that job it was Halloween. Halloween in a costume store is hell on earth. You'd think it would be fun because I fucking love Halloween but it means I have no time for myself. I haven't celebrated Samhain for the last two, maybe three years because I <laughs> haven't had the time. Um, last. Halloween, the one where I was working. Um, I did 11 days straight with no day off. Um, I did overtime during those shifts, didn't have a proper lunch break. Um, so I was absolutely exhausted. On top of that, coming home to pack up our home to move was just absolute madness. And then the stress of starting a new job. So the job that I am now in is the one that I moved to. Um, I've been here for almost six months now, so I work in HR, which is a complete difference. Um, loads of people are like, you have to be a bitch to work in HR, and I'm like, yeah, but I am, so. <laughs> um, no, it's really fun, I do really enjoy it, it's a good job, um, but it was very daunting to go from working part-time somewhere so relaxed. Um, it's like a toy shop, fancy dress shop, so it was so relaxed, so chill, um, there wasn't really any structure, it was a really small team. So to go from that and where I was super comfortable there, I knew the layout of the store, I knew the stock, if anyone asked me a question I could answer it like that, like I had no, obviously I wasn't being challenged and pushed enough but I was super confident in that role. To go from that to an industry that I'd never worked in before, to do a full time role, to having to abide by a certain like dress code and um, a lot more structure was definitely a very, um, it was a scary experience for me, I'm not very good with change but it was something that I needed to do so now I'm like have a stable job, have a stable income, I'm in a new home so everything's changed a lot um, but I'm, I'm happy, I was happy then, I'm happy now, different happy but still happy. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's kind of where I've been, what's been going on and hopefully explains why I've been away. Obviously that is a very short version of events that happened from October to November. 
um, then I had my birthday but I was still so caught up in this whole new job moving out type situation so I didn't really celebrate I had a meal with my mum and a meal with my family and that was about it um, and then we had the Christmas season which was crazy it always is um, and then just been taking the time to adjust to this new place and making it feel like home it's a lot bigger than what we had before so when we moved in like our furniture it was quite empty um, and at first I really didn't like living here um, but recently over the past couple of months Jake and I have been working on like some DIY and making it feel more like home um, so I, I'm happier here now also recently we've had a little bit of some like paranormal goings on so I definitely feel more at home here now um, yeah so that's pretty much what's been going on in my life um, I also am an auntie for the second time I'm so happy I have another gorgeous nephew his name is Henry I'll post a picture here um, I literally love him to death he is the cutest and he looks just like Harrison his older brother <laughs> so cute so yeah I'm very happy very proud proud auntie and I think I'm gonna go and see him again tomorrow so I'm very happy I'm hoping to get into a routine now where I can film during evenings or weekends because I have this separate space and where we're coming into the summer months now it's a lot brighter outside so I've got more natural light to uh, film videos and yeah where Jake is away two nights a week, not like away, but he does college in the evenings. I have more time on my own so I can use that time to film and then use evenings and lunch times, whatever, to edit. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get back into YouTube now because I really do miss it. Um, it just is a mixture of finding the time and the motivation. I know there's plenty of YouTubers out there who work a 9 to 5 and find time to film, which fair play to them because it's a lot. Um, but for me that just hasn't been doable lately but I'm really going to try and make it happen and I just want to say a huge thank you to anyone who's messaged me on Instagram, Snapchat, left comments on my videos about asking when I'm going to be back, telling me they miss me, they, those comments make me so happy and I'm so glad that the effort and the energy I'm putting into this is being, is you know, people are enjoying the content that I'm making. So let me know what type of videos you want to see. I've been completely immersed in witchcraft recently. Um, for the past four or five months, I've been really practicing and learning and casting and all sorts so I'm thinking some of my videos are going to revolve more around witchcraft I'll still keep doing my sort of makeup y fashion y unboxing y <laughs> my usual stuff um, I want to start doing a couple of DIYs as well so let me know what you would like to see and let me know what you've been up to while I've been gone what's happened in your life uh, hopefully it's all good and you're all happy I also want to say a huge thank you to anyone who has watched mine and my sister's style swap video. We've had 1.1 million views. I can't even get my head around that. <laughs> that's, that's mad. It's absolutely mad. So huge thank you to anyone who's watched that and supported my channel and to anyone who came from that video and is still here, anyone who's been here from the beginning. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and continuing to do so. I literally don't even remember how I end these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.